What's up, YouTube? I got audio update. I know it's been a long time coming. I've been posting lots of silly workout videos, but guys, this is big. I'm about to drop about $1,000. That's pretty big. I'm going to invest in my first three-way component set for our front stage. I'm going to get about it's a $700 set from CDT. The link will be in the description, and it's going to be a two-channel cadence amplifier. 250 watts, two ways, and the four ohms. So big power for the big component set. I'm going to be making a lot of videos updating the installation process. And this is the first one, and I'm going to go over testing and driver locations. Because if you're going to spend a lot of money on a three-way set, you just don't want to guess where those speakers are going to be. You want to put them in every conceivable location possible. I don't even have the set yet, but I do have a pair of inexpensive three-way crossovers and some decent enough drivers and I can move the speakers around in my car. I'm going to add in a couple pictures and really explain what I'm doing. Alright, in this first picture you're going to notice I got the 4 inch mid located up there on the dash and the tweeter up there high in the door and of course the 6.5 mid base is in the stock location. I'm just going to put a bracket on it and put it in the door and do that kind of typical thing. But this really wasn't very impressive, and you see a lot of installs that have the mid and the tweeter high up on the dash. The sound stage was very high, almost higher than my uh, head, actually. But what was really disappointing is the frequencies between like 1,500 and 6,000 were really oppressive and very harsh, and it was took a lot of equalizing to even get them down to a reasonable level, and even then, the music didn't seem to blend together very well, which is kind of disappointing. You see a lot of people with really nicely finished, you know, fiberglass pods with the speakers are here. And I could have done that, but then I would have finished the install and realized, man, this just doesn't sound good. So it's so important to do the testing that I'm doing now before you invest your time and your money in building those pods that we all know or take a lot of work to make. Now in this next picture, you noticed I moved that four inch mid way down almost underneath the dash and that speaker is just hanging free. I'm just able to really quickly put it in different locations. Even the tweeter, I had originally pulled that down so it was like right next to the four inch mid, but I came to the conclusion that this setup was the one that had the best sound for me. When I put the tweeter right next to the mid, like a lot of people recommend, the sound stage was very low and although it sounded real good, it didn't have that whole kind of surrounding you kind of sound that's hard to really put in the words. When I put the tweeter up high in the door, it kind of lifted that sound stage up a little bit and gave it the best sound for me. And let me stress again, it's not about what people say good sound is, it's what sounds good to you. That's all that matters. So yeah, man, that's what I've been doing today, just kind of testing things out. A lot of people might ask, why are you choosing CDT components? Why not another brand? And honestly, I can't listen to all the brands, speakers, but I've owned some CDT components and I really like the way they sound, especially the mid-range and the highs. The set I picked out, I'm really excited actually about the um, 6.5 mid-bass driver because this is actually, uh, CDT says it can be like a mid-bass driver or actually a subwoofer. We're talking about a 6.5 with 15 millimeters of one-way X-Max. That's pretty significant since that matches a lot of subwoofers. So I'm thinking I get that in a well-deadened door, getting good power. We're going to have some legit bass up front sound for that, you know, 70 hertz through like 120. It's going to be thumping in the door. So I'm going to make another video detailing my effort at deadening the door and how I'm going to plan to do that real systematically not just rubbing on tons of deadener and praying that it'll work. No, we're going to really be um, as scientific about it as we can be, so I'm going to take you guys through that. I got an order with Second Skin. should be here on the 28th. Really excited about getting some new equipment, making an unboxing video, you know, doing all that fun stuff. And eventually when I get the components, I know you guys are going to want to see me unbox a $700 set of components with an amplifier. That's going to be real exciting. All right, until next time.